In the second example, we're going to create a chevron pattern, which uses only one segment, which is an angled plank like this with a 45 degree cut on the ends. Once again, I've added the basic arrays and a few operators to get us going. Um, since we've already covered the material and the spline in the previous tutorial, they're already here. Um, so first things first, let's add the plank to the material and then let's pick a spline from the scene. Now I just need to come into the Array 2S and turn on Extend XY Size to Area and then you can see that's working. So we need this to zigzag, um, so we can do that by basically mirroring this plank and piecing them together using a Compose operator. So let's add a Compose, replace that in the Material Input, put this plank into the first slot, and then a Mirror. So now we've got our zigzagging pattern, but of course there's a much too big a gap between rows because it's aligning to the top and the bottom of the zigzags. So all we need to do is just close that up. And that's very easy to do. We'll just come into the plank properties, um, come to general padding and change the top padding just to close them up. And the right setting is somewhere in the region of negative 0.353 meters. And you'll find that will snap them together quite nicely. We might also want to add the randomization to the translation that we saw in the last example. So we can change this to 0.003 meters to give us a little bit of surface randomization. And um, and the other thing you're seeing now is a slight problem uh, because we're, because of the zigzagging pattern and the diagonals touching the boundaries, we get these gaps at the bottom and the top. Railclone 2.1 has a new property that gets around this issue. If you come into the array generators settings, go to the clipping area parameters, uh, there's a new expand property and all that does is simply extends the boundaries out by a percentage of the size so if we just turn this up you'll find the array expands gets rid of those gaps and clips off still in the correct position that gets rid of that problem just like before we can change the rotation of this if we want to so we could swing it round or somewhere in between we've got a very flexible style assign it to our floor over here and hit render 